Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. I want to talk to you about five ways the Teams chat has changed. The first one is if you look at the top right of my chat screen here, you'll see that there's a meet now button, which really means that if you have a group that you're chatting with regularly, you can simply click on meet now and that will invite them to a meeting in Teams. Now this meet now button is in chat, but it's only when there's a group of more than two people. So for instance, when I have a chat with just one person, there's no meet now button available to me. The next update within the chat area within Teams is the fact that aside from changing the name of your chat group, so that would be done by that pencil that's been a, a, available to us for a while, we can now just click on the picture and you'll see there's a little camera in there and you can pick from a number of icons or even upload a picture of some kind for that group if you wish. So that's kind of a cutesy one. Now the third thing is something I've been waiting for for a while. I'm excited that it's available now in chat as it is of course in Teams and in channels. We can now add some apps into our chat group and so we can add apps a couple of different ways. One of them being at the very top here you see how you have the plus sign for adding a tab. That is where you add another application. So once I hit that I have a number of apps that are available to me and if I go to see all, you'll see that's really not giving me access to every single thing that I could add into a team and a channel, but it is giving me access to quite a few things such as the whiteboard or maybe I want to bring in a, a PowerPoint or an Excel spreadsheet and so on. Now I do already have a, a whiteboard added to this group. I wanted to have it ready for you so you could see it. So this just means that whomever I'm chatting with would have access to this whiteboard and can contribute to it as well. Now there's another way I can add in an app into my group and there's actually some different apps that are added in this manner and that is by going to the bottom area where I type in a message and notice that there is a plus sign down there. If I click on that plus sign you'll see from that plus sign there are a number of apps available to me as well. Some of these are different than what I had available to me at the top. So a couple of ones to note is something like approvals. That's a great one to use so you can get approvals on things instantly with that group of people. Uh, updates is kind of a cool one. If you're always looking for updates and you have a, maybe a weekly check-in or a daily check-in and you have a couple of questions that you want people to update you on, then you can just add those questions in there as a standard update question that automatically happens that they have to fill in every day. Here's an example of the updates app added into this chat here. So the update is for a one-on-one -on -one and the standard questions that are going to be asked each day or week or whatever time frame we choose are these questions. And when they're received, you'll see that there is in the chat just a receipt of them. So take a look through these different apps that are available to you at the bottom here and also at the top to see what other apps you do can use to make this information shared with this group of people more valuable. Okay, a couple of other updates and stick around to the end because it's, uh, it's actually an update that I don't like that's happened in chat and uh, we'll see if you agree or not. You, you can let me know in the comments. The fourth example of an update done to the Teams chat area is from the message line at the bottom here. You can use the slash to call up some common commands. And these sl slash commands are convenient because you can quickly do something. So let's say I want to work on this chat for a little bit or go back and forth a bit, but I've got some other things to do in my team. You know, if I choose that window one, then my chat is now in a separate window and I can now move around to other areas of my team. So that's kind of handy, isn't it? Let's close that. And then there's a number of other ones. So I can put a do not disturb on, so I can change my status. I can also learn about shortcuts or even add in the apps this way as well. Okay, so try that slash command at the bottom here. Now the last change that's happened within the Teams chat area is the fact that it's taken away something. And what it's taken away is the activity tab at the top. Now I've been reading through uh, Microsoft's comments and some of the other places that people have been posting posting about this and it looks like Microsoft hasn't committed to whether they're going to bring it back completely yet or not, but there is a possibility they might bring it back. The activity tab at the top 
of a chat was so convenient because it actually told you of all the activity that the members of that chat had with you within Teams. And so what that means is, let's say for instance, I'll go to the a chat I've had with just one person just to keep it simple. If I wanted to know with Pear what's going on in terms of has he looked at some of the stuff I put into the other Teams areas or the other channels and so on, the activity area would give me a listing of all the places that he's interacted with me. So in other, aside from the chat, it could be in teams and channels and all and any activities had with me. And so that was kind of cool to see that. It was, it was kind of like a running log of what's happening with Pear in this team. If you're not happy about any of these changes that Microsoft has made, or if you want to suggest some other changes for Microsoft to make, then just note that if you go to your three dots at the top of your Teams area, there's a help option. And from that help option, you can say to suggest a feature or you can give feedback. And that's how you vote on what you want with Microsoft. So enjoy those changes to the chat area. Lots of great features have been introduced to us and uh, give those a try. Thanks.